It's called a um, atrial fibrillation, where the heart is, is is misbehaving itself by sometimes beating very fast and sometimes beating a lot a lot slower, up and down, up and down. Sometimes it can go up as 150, 200. Mine wasn't quite that bad, but it it, it wasn't behaving itself, and you feel you feel quite awful, and you don't want to do anything. You get lethargic you feel out of sorts all the time. My cardiologist um, in Jamaica, he uh, had referred me originally to the US, to Miami. It, the operation there they, uh, didn't work out quite as well as we wanted. So he then, because I was still having the, the problem, he, he referred me to Dr. Ravi at uh, Health City. This gentleman has been having atrial fibrillation for a long time and he had an ablation for atrial fibrillation in Miami in 2014. It didn't work, the radio frequency, the heating ablation, and uh, he's been having, been very symptomatic ever since. So he's from Jamaica and he was referred to us by one of the senior cardiologists from Jamaica for uh, another ablation attempt. So we thought it's best to offer him a cryo-based uh, procedure as he already had had a radio frequency procedure. So uh, with the intention that the results are going to be better. I've been to a number of cardiologists. My one in Jamaica is an exception as is Dr. Ravi, but some of the others, they don't quite give you the time and the attention that, that, that you would like to have so that you can get rid of all your anxieties and worries and so I was very happy he sat down with the first time I met Dr. Ravi he sat down with me and he went through everything quietly and calmly and he told me to be calm <laughs> because you're a little tense and you don't know what to expect and then this last time he had he had time for me when I came into the hospital to have the operation and he visited me two or three times. I thought that was excellent because I know how busy his schedule it must be. It's cryo, cryoablation. Cryo is cooling. And uh, so, so basically this procedure is done for a patient with uh, atrial fibrillation. As you're aware, atrial fibrillation is a very, very common rhythm disorder of the heart where people have palpitations. It's, it's the commonest cardiac arrhythmia and it is responsible for a huge number of comorbidities and lifestyle issues etc. So thus far we used to manage atrial fibrillation conventionally with medications and if they don't respond to medications we used to do a radio frequency ablation where the point of the heart where we suspect atrial fibrillation is coming from we go and burn it with the radio frequency current. So that destruction of the tissue happens by heating. Now, we found some issues with, with this procedure, some imperfections in getting the target we wanted to achieve. So in lieu of that, a new technology has been introduced called as a cryo balloon, uh, which is something like this. This is an uninflated balloon. Uh, so this is, it can be introduced into the heart. And through this balloon, we can introduce uh, liquid uh, nitric oxide, which cools uh, and dilates the balloon. We dilates the balloon and then uh, freezes whichever structure it is put into. So this balloon is introduced into the heart, into the pulmonary veins. Now pulmonary veins are these structures at the back of the heart. And the pulmonary veins are the structures where the impulses which trigger the atrial fibrillation come from. So we introduce it through the groin into the pulmonary veins, open up the balloon, and uh, once it's opened up, we freeze the, the vein for about uh, two to three minutes. And with that, there's an effective and uniform uh, destruction of the, the generators for atrial fibrillation. So this is the procedure which uh, has been found to be uh, simpler, more effective and with uh, far lower uh, complications than the radio frequency ablation, what we used to do. All the nurses um, and all the attending staff were very, very helpful and very accommodating. Definitely we would recommend it. Um, 
But um, I must tell you, in Jamaica, where we, we come from, um, Health City, is, is reputation is growing already. It's becoming quite well known. We are possibly the only hospital in the whole of Caribbean who have this technology. That's another positive thing. You know, people had to travel to US or UK for the procedure all these uh, days for this particular kind of procedure. So we are able to off offer this on the island here, which means that uh, there is a significant cost reduction to the patients who require this procedure. Outcome has been fantastic in all the five patients. So they all were uh, sent home in a day and they all had very effective uh, elimination of uh, the intended target. I'll be back to exercising, back to golf, and back to a drink or two. <laughs> so everything's on the up. It's just a, it's a, an excellent facility and I'm, I'm so happy that uh, it's close to Jamaica. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes.